Okay, here we are on the Multistrada. And once again, I can't see anything out of these mirrors. Yeah, this one's okay, I guess. Brian's up ahead on the Monster, the same one I rode earlier. This thing is a beast. It was very comfortable. The seat is quite firm, but wide, you know, for those all day long rides. Handlebars are very spread apart. Very upright, you know, again, for the range. I feel like I could do, uh, I feel like I could go across Africa on this thing, <laughs> which I guess is what it's made for. It's tall, even I'm 5'10 ish, and uh, I'm, well, I, I can flat foot on one side here, but tippy toe on the other. It's a big, tall bike. So we got it in sport mode. And we are cooking out here, baby. I'll tell you what. Woo! I got sweat dripping down my back. Sweat dripping down my head. I like this white color though. It's a nice light, bright white. Uh, I think this light's broken. That's a really heavy clutch. Wow, the turn in on that is amazing. It almost caught me by surprise going around that corner because it was just so easy to turn in. But then again, I'm not used to these wide bars, so it gives you so much more leverage. Oh, the front brakes feel amazing. Brand new Brembo's. She doesn't lag behind. Oh yeah, felt good going over those railroad tracks. Like nothing, like they weren't even there. Multistrada. Oh, big bump. Wow, it took that like it was nothing. A lot of buttons over here. Where's my turn signal indicator light? Doesn't tell you? Ugh. Are they 
they auto canceling? I don't know. How do you know if your turn signals are on? Oh, there it is up there in the corner. I seize it. Okay. Oh. Tippy toes. Not what I would call flickable. Okay, that was it.